I've got a great update for you in the Lectern Gate fraud saga involving Arkansas's MAGA Republican Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Let me give you the headline first, and then let's take a look at what's actually happening here. The headline is Sarah Huckabee Sanders has requested more time from the independent legislative auditors who are investigating this purported $19,000 purchase of the lectern. She says she needs more time to formulate her answer. Answer. This audit was supposed to be done, I thought, in February, then in March, and now we're learning Sarah Huckabee Sanders is requesting more time, in my view, to try to come up with some excuse here. Let's get into that in a moment. Just to remind you of Sarah Huckabee Sanders' lectern gate fraud, this fraud was uncovered by somebody by the name of Matt Campbell, who we had here on the Midas Touch Network. He's a lawyer. He does a lot of public records requests as a journalist. In addition to being a lawyer in Arkansas, he uncovered expenditures from Huckabee Sanders back in June of 2023 and noticed this $19,000 expenditure right underneath the reporting limit before it would have to get additional scrutiny to Beckett Events. Who's Beckett Events? Virginia Beckett. Wait a minute. That's Sarah Huckabee Sanders' really close friend, and she worked on Sarah Huckabee Sanders' campaign. Also, Beckett Events is staffed by someone named Hannah Stone. Now, Beckett Events is a new company that was created recently. It has nothing to do with lecterns. I think it's an event corporation. So why would Sarah Huckabee Sanders, giving a newly formed company that does events, $19,000 for the purchase of a lectern? That's a valid question. Second question, where the heck is the lectern? Well, in June of 2023, the same time this lectern acquisition was made using Arkansas state funds that could have been going to education, that could have been going to health care, although Sarah Huckabee Sanders doesn't necessarily believe in that. It could have been going to all of these things. Huckabee Sanders was on a trip in Paris with Beckett and Stone, they were partying it up, living the high life, kind of like we saw in St. Bart's with Alina Haba in our prior reporting. So there are some people who have asked the question, I think it's valid to ask, was this $19,000 lectern acquisition something more? Was it actually a way to maybe live the high life in Paris and show that there was some charge, hoping that nobody would call them out the way Matt Campbell did? Many people are asking that question, and there's a lot of suspicion because only on one occasion did Sarah Huckabee Sanders invite some members of the media to take a photo of the lectern. There's the photo right there. Um, this, if, that, if this is an authentic Falcon lectern, it's one of the higher, uh, higher echelon lecterns, if you will. But even a Falcon lectern, some of the top grade primo quality Falcon lecterns are like $7,500. It appears to be a fake Falcon lectern too, not a real Falcon lectern. Do not call it a podium, but a Falcon lectern right there. But if it's a fake one, maybe it's 500, maybe it's a thousand, maybe if it truly is an authentic Falcon Falcon lectern at $7,500, but it doesn't appear to be authentic. But then there's still, where's the other money if you spent $19,000? And then in general, why are you spending $19,000 in a lectern? Arkansas is like last on the list of everything when it comes to like education and health and giving people resources. So why are you spending your money on lecterns? So all of those questions were being asked. This independent auditor began an investigation slow rolled the investigation, but then we started to see some headlines that I thought we were going to get these results from the audit. Um, and we got this headline from the AP from February 8th, 2024, audit of $19,000 lectern purchase for Arkansas governor, almost done. I'm like, bet, that's great. But then we got one over the past few days, completion of audit, into Arkansas governor's 19,000 lectern has been pushed back to April. Well, the first week of April has now passed and we still don't have it. This is from the AP report. AP says, a report detailing the audit of a $19,000 lectern purchased for Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders will be completed later than expected after the governor's office said it needed more time for its response. 
the state's legislative auditor told lawmakers on Wednesday. Legislative auditor Roger Norman told a legislative committee in an email that a draft report has been completed of the audit requested last year of the lectern. We've been talking about lectern gate for a long time here in the Midas Touch Network, which last fall gained national attention and became the focus of intense scrutiny that it will be completed in early April rather than the end of March, as the timeline had originally said, Norman said the governor's office requested an extension. So Huckabee Sanders requested an extension for its, quote, management response, which is included in reports issued by the Division of Legislative Audit. Now, how difficult can this be? By the way, Tom Mars, who lives in Arkansas, knows a lot of information about this, who's been posting about it. By the way, he had worked for... Um, we're talking about, you know, Tom Mars' reputation of being a conservative. He worked for Huckabee Sanders' uh, father. Um, if And this is what Tom Mars says. If Governor Sanders were receiving good legal advice, I suspect her, quote, management response to the lectern gate audit findings would probably look like this. This is a parody, of course, but... Uh, I think Tom Mars is giving sage advice right here. Management response to legislative audit findings regarding $19,000 lectern. On second thought, the governor asserts her Fifth Amendment right not to respond on grounds that she has not been able to formulate a response that won't be incriminating AF. <laughs> now, one of the more incriminating emails right here that we see was written by a uh, individual who worked uh, for the Arkansas state government within transformation and shared services within the branch of the administrative services, an administrative services manager named Casey Cantlin. This email um, that was uncovered, and by the way, give more hat tips to Matt Campbell for unearthing all of this stuff, but here was an email from September 15th of 2023, which demonstrated that uh, the individuals working for Huckabee Sanders were basically being instructed to manipulate the invoices for the lectern that were submitted in June to put notations on it that said to be reimbursed. Ultimately, the lectern was reimbursed by the Republican Party of Arkansas after Matt Campbell called it out. But by tampering with a state document, the invoices were submitted to the state. By having people put these notations, many legal observers believe the manipulation of the documents, fabricating a document that didn't say to be reimbursed and adding the words to be reimbursed constitutes a felony, a serious crime. And this is a contemporaneous email and Casey Cantlin was being asked to do something unlawful and she was putting a notation to the file so that she wouldn't get in trouble for crimes. Undoubtedly, the auditors have this. Undoubtedly, this is one of the reasons that Sarah Huckabee Sanders is trying to buy more time. Here's what it says, this email from September 15, 2023. The attached deposit was brought to me late yesterday afternoon. That's the reimbursement from the Republican Party from Laura Hamilton at the governor's office. This is a check from the Republican Party of Arkansas to reimburse the podium purchase. It's election, but we'll call it a podium in June 2023 for $19,000 um, on the state P card. Laura was instructed... Laura was instructed for either our office or herself to make a note on the original on the original invoice that it was to be reimbursed. As you can see on the attachment, she made the note. I asked if she wanted to date the note, and she stated that she was told not to date it, but just to make the note that the invoice was to be reimbursed. I also told her that they would not be getting any appropriation back for this, and she indicate that she already told Jude Deer the same thing so they are aware. This email serves as my documentation to both of you what happened and the reason for this deposit. So basically saying that I was involved in this thing where somebody from the governor's office was instructed to manipulate state records I don't want any part of it. I asked her if she wanted to date it so that we could at least know 
when this notation happened. She was told specifically not to date it. And here, give a hat tip to Casey Cantlin, who did the right thing, because she thought that she was being set up, which she was. Take a look, folks, at the invoice so you can see for yourself what was done and why many legal observers believe just these notations alone, the cover-up constitutes a crime. For example, here's the notation on the invoice from June for this purported lectern, to be reimbursed, LH, the initials that you just saw. And then here's the QuickBooks printout, to be reimbursed, LH, no uh, notation of the date right there. And so that's the status right now of this lectern gate audit. An independent audit supposed to be done by the legislative branch. Sarah Huckabee, this was supposed to be done, it looked like in February, the headline from February 8th was that this was moving closer to a completion. Audit of $19,000 lectern purchase almost done. All right, bet, great. Then March 27th, pushed back to April. Now we're in the first week of April. We don't have it. I would not be surprised if it gets pushed back more. But this is what's going on. The broader issue here, too, is if Sarah Huckabee Sanders is this corrupt and getting caught basically in this fake lectern thing, that, again, it would be very easy to explain, right? Explain, here's the purchase, here's the thing, here's why I did it. If you're willing to do that, think about the depths that you will go to do anything, anything, if you're making up $19,000 fraudulent lecterns, as being alleged. We'll keep you posted. We're following this lectern gate story every step of the way, folks. That's a pretty big update right there. Tell me what you think in the comments. I'm Ben Micellis. Have a wonderful day. It's Ken Harbaugh with the Midas Touch Network. The film Against All Enemies, which I co-produced with Ben Micellis and this network, has won awards around the world for its up-close portrayal of America's insurrectionist movement. It premieres in the U.S. on March 29th on Amazon and Apple TV. Go to AgainstAllEnemiesFilm.com or click the link below. But don't just watch Against All Enemies. Tell your friends about it. It's one more way to hold accountable those who threaten our democracy. Thanks Midas Mighty, let's use our power well.